I've got a, a moor hen that's taken up residence in the garden. The only problem is I'm not sure if he's a danger to the fish in the pond. I've checked on the internet and they, it says they do eat small fish. But I don't mean if I don't know if they mean like little tiddlers or um, I mean I got, I got nothing in the pond that's that's less than six inches, so I'm assuming I'm all right. And I don't want to scare him away if I don't have to. There was a heron out there the other day, which scarped as soon as it saw me, and it's uh, it hasn't been back since. Anyway, back to the painting. This is just clear water using a large hake. I'm just going to make one up today. Uh, a bit of raw sienna, a little in crimson. Quite random, working your way down the page. Paper. More water. All the way down, right to the bottom. Just looking out for those, trying to leave sort of lighter areas there, which will give the impression of the uh, the sun shining through, shining through the darkness. Well, it's not going to be dark, but I'll try and darken the edges. The, the darker the edges, the lighter it appears in the in the centre. Now I'm doing light red, ultramarine. Darkening up a bit now. I'm going to preserve that. I'm being careful. It might look as if I'm sort of whizzing around without a care in the world, but I am sort of trying to keep an eye on these light areas. I'm, I'm trying to preserve them. And like I say, the darker I can get the edges, the, the lighter the help here. I'm doing light red, ultramarine, a bit of a uh, Payne's grey. Went into the green end, didn't mean the yellow rather, didn't mean to do that. More blue, more red, a bit of paint's grey. Almost sort of mixing it on the uh, on the paper rather than the brush. And you see, I didn't I didn't wet it enough really. You see how it's starting to dry there, so I'm not getting those soft edges. Or down the bottom. I'm sure I can. Uh, see how we get on. It'll all work out for the best, I'm sure. Right now, I'm going to put. Let's just put a few clouds in there. Get in the dark. Pan's grey. These are in crimson. And I'm just sort of. Sort of dark, dark clouds, and then those little ones. A few more on this side, and then just darken that a bit more. Some up there. Didn't want to hit that green again. Uh, hang on. I don't want them level like that. I want one lot of clouds. I'm going to take them a bit higher. Like Something like that. A bit of tissue. A few little white clouds in amongst them. Side, right there. Some little white clouds in there. Paper's stretched a bit, so I'm just going to pull it tight and then try and work out. This is going to actually look like. And I'll go with right, Horizon. Um, what shall I go with? Let's have uh, something up there. Trees, good 
true in my view up there. Darken that a bit. Something's coming from some kind of hillside or cliff or something. We get away with another pile of trees going up there like that. That's going down so let's just clean the brush a little bit. Raw sienna. Looks a bit boring that does. Let's stick a few trees on that one as well. Coming down, just flicking it up. So it would have looked better if I'd have done the white light in the sky there, you'd see the trees a bit better. That's a worry. Um, do you want down there? Bit of burnt umber, ultramarine, bit of lizard and crimson. And Trying to work out what's actually happening there. Um, a few more trees. What is this? Is this some kind of river or something? Um, let's try and define a few rocks, see what it looks like then. Very easy to overdo. If you overdo it, just paint straight over it like that. It's not a problem. Do it a little bit smaller. Um, and let's have some big ones. I'm assuming this is some kind of river, I'm not entirely certain, but I'll, I'll go with the uh, I'll go with the river I think. Um let's just put a few more down. This edge. See what that looks like. Just try experimenting, you know what I mean, at the end of the day. It's not the end of the world. If it's not 100 percent bang on. There's never a bad painting, you always uh, take something to the next one. I could do that better. Um, let's just have um it needs something. I'm gonna go with a uh, what should I do? I'm doing dark mix. I'm just going to go. Needs a trace on it up there. Just a That's it, right in the foreground. Bring that right forward. Um, a bit of green on there. A bit of Payne's grey. That's just. Uh, Choosing the corner of the brush, just very lightly, just putting a few little leaves on it. Just add some there now. Some giving up. Um, 
you want another tree on this side, I don't think so. That together because I'm quite sure what's going on there, it's just not. It's just a few dark trees there. Just lemon yellow, pines grey, and sort of layer of trees going in, just flicking it up. Some kind of you can see like the trees, uh, it's bringing them down a bit. It's really dark in the foreground. Like I said, the darker it is, the more dramatic the light looks. So it looks like some kind of river coming from down there somewhere, tricking its way down the hillside, down the mountain. Just darken this a bit more. Just a few little rocks. Quite far away, so I only want to do them tiny. Yeah, I don't like that one. one. That one in shape work no more. Let's try this one. Well done. I'll probably just go a little bit over the top with the rocks. Too many rocks, and then just see which ones I don't like and just paint them out. They're too big, losing the sense of scale. Um, I think I'll, uh, before I go too much, just pull this a little bit tight, it's just slightly stretched. And I think all I'm going to do next, now just to finish it off, is a little, couple of little birds silhouetted in the sky. Use a corner of the card. That's still wet, so I'm just going to scrape it in, scrape my name in for a change, somewhere down there. I'm going to call that one finished. So let's have a closer look at it. Poor look at the paint. I'll sort of just have a see, look, see what the moor end's doing. I think it's just having a quick scuff at the water's edge. I think he's seen me, he doesn't know whether to run away or not. Well, I'll leave him in peace for a minute. So this is what our finished painting looks like. And you can see, like a lot of times, I don't really worry too much about the colour, it's more about the tones. Light against dark, all the, uh, and just contrasts. You can see, as usual, starting with the sky, and you can see what I mean. The lighter areas look lighter when the darker areas are darker. So just get it as dark as you can. And you can keep going until the water, the water starts to dry. And then you'll stop getting these soft edges and they'll turn to hard edges. A few clouds put in with the hiking. See our little birds up there just adding a little bit of life to it. Um, dabbed out a few white clouds with the tissue. You can see the differences between brushwork when it's wet. When the paper's wet, you get soft edges like this. When it's dry, you can get harder edges like this. So if you want a sort of def a, you know well-defined tree line, let the paper dry and then put it in. If you want it, want it softer, look as it make it look as if it's really far away, then put it in just before it dries. 
So we've got a nice dramatic effect here, the sort of light of the sky reflecting in this water, the river as it winds its way round to the left foreground here. Deliberate, I've, I've deliberately put these in nice and dark just so it contrasts well with the reflected water from the sky. And then our tree line continues all the way around. Got little highlights here on the rocks, all adds to the drama in the dark of the dark shadows of the trees. You may have noticed I did these ones left handed, reason being. The sort of light then catches on that side and then you get the sort of shadows on the other side. I thought it needed something else on this right hand foreground so I'll just bash this tree in very quickly using the hake. You can use a, a, a rigger if you want but the hake's are obviously a lot quicker and then just a bit of dry brush work. Don't paint every leaf, just use the corner of the brush and brush those leaves in. Well there you have it, that's another painting done. Thanks for watching, hope you like that. Keep practicing, any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.